Welcome back. We're going to play yet some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Uh, I think today I'll go back to trying to play some kind of central file attack. I've still not yet had time to review what other uh, amateur players have shared with me. I think those things they shared are quite valuable. Uh, I just have been absolutely swamped. And so we're just going to wing it. And it'll be fun. Good luck. Alright, so... I intended to play some kind of central file rook thing. That might not prove viable here, on account of I do want to prevent my opponent from activating their rook super easily. Um, so that doesn't really lend itself to a central file strategy here. All right, there's a bishop exchange. Um, let's make some attempt to activate this. And push that, I think, is also reasonable. And this is a classic castle shape. Uh, it's the fortress. And so uh, we can expand the fortress. Well, I'm sorry, that's a backwards fortress. And that's why it's backwards. It helps to know your castle shapes, doesn't it? All right. Well, that's going to prove to be extremely challenging, but we'll soldier on through it. It just means I'm going to have to attack very aggressively if I want anything done this game. Um, to bring out the knight or not? It's a desperate situation already. Yep, <laughs> static rook it once more. Um, that seemed kind of fun. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about my opponent having a very swift attack. Yeah, I couldn't stop that. Um, that said, I have my own attack, so let's not worry too much. And if we play bravely, maybe it works itself out. We still have a bishop in hand. They constantly have to be cautious about. Um, this might be my best opportunity to place it, however. Hmm. No, actually, let's just keep going. If they drop a pawn, we can push this pawn, and stuff gets exciting. We still have the bishop in hand, and that's going to be my chorus. Alright, yep, they're bringing pieces close to the king. I don't know that I care. Maybe I do care, and I just don't know it. All right, this is a nice little wedge to have. I'm not sure how to continue. I'm not going to find a better place to drop this bishop, so let's use it. 
That's slow. That's very slow. So I'm going to attack quickly and hope that it works. Maybe I should have brought my knight out sometime in advance of some of these moves. I'm not sure. This is a lance. Um, I could use a lance here. And they are attacking my gold general. So we're going to try to nullify this force. Um, interesting. Yeah, that's not easy to deal with. If I drop a lance here, I think it's reasonable to try that. If I push here, um, that's also quite reasonable. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to attack toward the rook, but also toward the castle. And by balancing our attack, hopefully we get out of this. <laughs> this is a really desperate position. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Let's draw a random proverb, just for visual interest. Mend the silver wall or wall silver. Alright, so they block my bishop. Thankfully, the bishop can attack in two directions at once. Um... So... They've shut out my bishop this way, but not the other way. So now my bishop threatens to promote over here. Also, this rook is trapped. Also, probably... Well, I could have dropped a knight to attack this rook, but then it would have retreated. Alright, I don't want to exchange everything away. That would be dangerous. Um, my opponent doesn't have a rook. Alright, so I'm going to take that. And just try to restrain their attack. Against all odds. Okay, that's really heavy. You don't need to attack with that piece. I could defend with a pawn. They could drop another piece. Gofun. All right, so this restraint policy might not be the best policy here. Well, they can't drop a pawn. They'd have to drop a second piece. Um, I have two knights in hand. If I push the knight, I don't want to block my bishop. Alright. We'll sacrifice the knight on a good square. Oh, they fork me here. But now I know exactly where their bishop's going to be. All right, I trap their rook. Okay, yeah, I guess my rook is trapped. I can't help that. Um, oh, 
Okay, so this gold general, I think, is my target. I want to melt down this edge of the castle and attack from the side. It could move forward into the path of my bishop, but that doesn't save it. Um, yeah, they could drop a knight or something to attack my bishop, but I'm hoping to checkmate them before they checkmate me. Welcome. We'll see how this goes. So I think the daily reset is coming up in about 40 minutes or something like that. So if I don't pick up the pace, I'm not going to get it in three games today and three games tomorrow. And that's fine. Um, but yeah, if I want games to go faster, I should play accurate moves and just win in the opening. Instead of trying to play moves faster and hope that I survive because that doesn't seem to work so well. Um, my po uh, well, If I exchange multiple pieces here, like knight takes gold takes, bishop takes, king takes, they could drop a rook way back here, and they'll also have a gold to support that. However, my bishop does try to cover my king's head. Um, uh, they might also drop to the left, right. Well, this is covered by my bishop right now. Um, they might drop here. Oh, well, they could drop there, too. Um, don't know why they picked that square. Seems a bit odd. Let's see. So I don't have to take. This isn't checkers. Um, right, so that's check. So now they have their rook right next to my king. So I know exactly where the rook's going to be. Um, and this should allow me to run a little bit better. Um, if I'd taken that, there's mate in one. I almost took it. I would have ended the game faster, but not in my favor. So my bishop hangs. It's okay. We continue attacking. Their silver runs, and now Something. I hope that I have some way to confine this king. Um, I probably don't. Well, I can win a silver general while their king is escaping. That's fair, right? Silver general, king general, they're both generals. Um, Alright, so they're trying to checkmate me. Um, I'm doing a pretty good job at it. So, I didn't see that. Hmm, I don't think I have a way out. I don't even think I have a way to make this tricky. I think this is the best I can manage, but it's not good. I needed to repel some of these pieces earlier um, before they completely overwhelmed my camp. 
And having failed at that, now I just get made it. That said, I don't know how I could have repelled this anyway. But yeah, bishop takes surely leads to, I mean, it's mate next move there. Um, that also works. Thanks for the game. Oh, I see. We're picking the best move here. Let's see how they do it. All right. Thanks for game. One down, two to go. Well played. Let's see what our proverb for this game was going to be. Good luck. Sometimes in the end game, a vulgar move is all right. All right, we're just going to pick this out of fun. I don't know why I'm picking some of these moves. Uh, I've limited my choices considerably. Um, so this is the idea I had. I'm going to play it, but I've blocked my bishop. The bishop normally does something uh, defending the center pawn, but here I've made a complete mess of things. So... Um, Let's just get the king out of here. Yeah, I'm not sure what I was thinking. It's it's not good. I'm pretty sure I was tilting from the previous game. Um, and tilting is not a winning strategy, in case that's not already clear. Um... All right, so they've built a reasonable castle, and I put my silver in the wrong place. Let's get my king out of danger. Uh, and see what I can come up with here. <laughs> All right, they retreat their bishop which normally on its own would be reasonable. Uh, here, I don't think it makes quite as much sense. All right, we're just going to push all the pawns. Just for fun. That, and because there's actually some subtle point to this. Um, hundreds of moves down the road. So all my generals are still floating in their weird little floating shape. I still haven't picked how I'm going to attack here. Um, let's take some more space. Yeah, they do a reasonable thing here. Um, and if I push that, I lose the pawn. That might not be so wise. All right, let's have some fun. Here we go. Migi Gangi. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever I've done is modestly cute. Um... We're just going to push all the pawns, right? And then they all promote when you get them to the other side. That's... I think that's how it works in chess. So that's how it works in Shogi. I'm being more than a bit ridiculous here, but... Uh, this is a fun position. 
So the silver can't protect both pawns. Um, I've split their castle before they've had a chance to completely dive into the corner. And so next on my agenda is trying to activate all my pieces. Um, it's a mess. All right. Their rook activates before I have a chance to chase it. I should promote my bishop anyway, if, but I don't know if that's my best move. Um, I might have better. But try to do something tricky. They drop a pawn here. So I should be careful. Um, let's promote over here. Okay, ah, they move their king into the corner. I hear thunder. Hopefully that doesn't strike during our game. Um... Mm -hmm. Let's shut the rook out. Um, by that I mean their rook, not mine. Although it seems to have the consequence of dealing with both rooks. If gold takes... Uh, we're preparing forks and stuff. Um, if the gold doesn't take, I still attack this gold. I'm also attacking a knight. I'm also threatening to take a pawn and promote this. So it's kind of a mess. Um, meanwhile, all my stuff is floating. Alright, so I activate my rook. Uh, it's on the same diagonal as my king. That's not a good sign. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, we'll exchange the horse. I think they're intending to play bishop here, so um, yeah, I cut them out from doing that. Um, now their rook gets to float, which is kind of cool. Or rather, their gold gets to float, that's what I meant to say. Their rook is going to do some scary stuff. I can't help that, but... Um, yeah, this gold that's out in the middle of nowhere... Should question what it's doing. I did block my bishop here with this rook drop, but I get to attack more things this way, so maybe it's worth it. Hmm, don't know what to do next. Let's try to stop my opponent from dropping a rook. I think page is a medieval term, so it means somebody who is, their purpose is to assist another person. Um, so I think that's what it's getting at. Of 
5分Okay, they get a knight. Sure, that's scary, but I can't let scary things prevent me from making progress. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, let me defend this point again and prepare to point directly at the king. I would try to attack, except I just don't have the pieces to attack here. So I have to keep hardening my castle until it's time for me to attack, which might be a while. I mean, trust me, I'm looking at things like Rook Takes Gold, but it just really doesn't seem worth it. Um... Mm hmm. I didn't think they were going to do this. I tried to prevent it anyway, but um, it's actually profitable to me, so I don't know why I tried to stop this from happening. They gave up a bishop for a silver, uh, which is not smart, I don't think. Or at least I wouldn't do that in their position. They could drop a silver to fork my rook and gold. Um, I don't know. Might have to take this gold if they do that. Um. My gold promotes to be a gold. It's not going to be easy to break that. I know the edge is the weakness, but I don't... Get, well, I have three pawns. That's not nothing. If I knew how this worked, I could maybe make that work. Um, Don't know what to do about that. Maybe this is correct. I'm not sure. Cool dragon, bro. Sampun. and block my bishop, but this lets me attack here.
2分30秒。I should not have done that. Um, for multiple reasons. That sucks. Actually, this isn't so terrible. Uh, here, maybe? I don't know. So I want to take this gold, but not too early. The moment has almost come. Nifun. They no longer have a knight in hand. Um, they activate my knight. And this is a fantastic square for it, assuming I don't just drop it to a bishop fork, which I do. Gosh darn it! I had a beautiful attack for one bleeding moment. Um, yep. Yeah. Gosh darn. Alright, so... We need to cover the king's head, incidentally preparing to collect this knight. Um, but yeah, if the bishop comes back at 5-5 five, five and another knight... Well, I had this silver covering that anyway. I'm just blind. That's okay. It's a cool game, but lots of tactical errors are happening. Thankfully, they don't have a rook. So they don't have the one piece that scares me. So, as long as I don't give them a rook, I should be fine. The rest of this will be tricky to defend, but we'll defend it. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, they're preparing some kind of drop next to my king. Oh, that way next to my king. That I didn't see. I was looking, I just didn't see it. Alright, so we defend this way. Mm-hmm. Alright, I think this is the moment. Let's do it. Maybe this promotion was wrong? I don't know. Maybe I needed to drop instead of promoting? Um, it costs me a move to do it this way. Dropping is one move faster. Uh, this is extremely heavy, but... I'm just paranoid that I'm going to drop a piece if I don't do that. Um, Threaten mate. Or rather, I'm afraid that this bishop's somehow going to checkmate me if I spend a move moving my rook. Um, Threaten mate. Threaten mate. Um, threaten mate, another mate threat, gotta figure this shit out. So take the gold next and drop some generals, and there we go. Thanks 
for the game. You got it. Two down, one to go. Let's try to get this game in before the storm hits. Good luck. Memo to self, don't hang the 5-5 five five pawn. I've hung it before, and some opponents take it, others don't. But hanging it is never good. All right, I'm going to push very aggressively here. Uh, don't know why, but it's, it seems interesting. Also, let's get the rook back before something blows up. Um, interesting. So they have a pawn in hand. All right. Yeah, they're going to hit my bishop's head. OK, I could take this. What happens if I take it? I don't know. I don't need to take it. Why would I take it? Yes, my king's exposed. Let's deal with that and then think about later collecting this knight. Because they're going to push this pawn. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, let's do this. Um, this looks fascinating. I think my rook is going to be much more effective than their bishop's going to be. Um, so first, let's collect this damn knight. And then we'll go on, like, drop the rook and try to mate with the pieces we have. Um... Yeah, okay. They're threatening to exchange and get the rook back. I shouldn't be so cavalier about that. Uh, let's get two pieces for one. So I've got a rook and a bishop. Yeah, our gold is floating, and that's really not good. But... That's not the end of the universe. Um, so I can defend my castle this way. And then drop a rook and a knight to attack them. Oh. Interesting. The dragon's going to have to waste another move getting somewhere useful. Um, if I take this, dragon takes, they get the knight back. Hmm.
Yeah, this game's accelerating quickly. All right, let's attack the silver because we get a cont we get a bonus turn by doing this. That bonus comes from this fork. So they either have to do something about the fork or um get a silver. Um I drop this, they drop a pawn there. It's not decisive. I drop a knight here. Nanafun. They could get a knight for a silver. Just not perfect. Um, Okay, we got some pawns. Let's make something happen. They want to drop a pawn blocking my rook, so let's not give them time to do that. So next I'm going to promote and take a gold and take a gold and check bait them. If they drop a pawn, I could take the pawn. Um, all right, so instead we see this line. And now I've got two pawns and a silver, which means I can keep attacking over and over here. Uh, okay, this square is weak. Let's keep hitting it. Um, promote. That's another gold for me. Um, Ah, uh, my gold is floating. That's not good. It would have been better just to leave this here and let it be captured that way. Um, wait, that... Bishop was actually doing something. So it was defending this square. I don't know if their plan is to take back with the bishop and keep their castle divided, but that seems risky. If they take here, I gain a tempo, which is also risky. Okay, so they want me to move my rook now. I might oblige. Um, I might not. What if I don't? What if I wait and see if they take the bishop? Go hmm. for Okay, then we activate the rook this way. That's expensive. Let's keep going. How many pieces can they throw in the way of my rook? So next I threaten to take here or drop there. 
or maybe some combination of both somehow. This promotion's not bad either. Another piece? Wait, that blocks their attack. Um, Alright, so let's make use of my attacking piece. This blocks their rook from participating in an attack. Meanwhile, my bishop can promote in the corner here. If the dragon moves away from my king, I don't know that I mind. No, they could block the bishop, I guess. They'll have to block with a yet another piece. See if we could lure the king out. This is mate in one, right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the game. Well, there we go. Those are our three games for today. Um, we returned back to our older aggression that we've used in times past, and it seems to have worked out today, but study is still worth doing. Um, so, yeah, I'm still working on my openings, uh, just whenever I get a break from all the free software projects I'm developing. Uh, Shogi's a game, and it's a fun one, and we should learn it better so we can enjoy it more. Thank you. Hope we enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching.